Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will configure ATP that is Advanced Threat Protection. Before we proceed with the configuration, let me give you a brief about the ATP. So guys, when ATP feature is enabled, Sophos XG Firewall provides early detection of threats on network devices before they have an opportunity to breach systems. ATP analyzes entire network traffic. This includes DNS request, HTTP request or IP packets. It also incorporates IPS and antivirus data if the respective features are enabled. So to configure ATP in a Sophos XG firewall, let's begin with the configuration. We will be going to advanced protection over here. Under this tab advanced protection, simply you will enable this advanced threat protection option. Then coming to logging policy, uh, there are two options log only and log and drop. Log only will simply log any kind of malicious activity or any kind of threat whereas log and drop option will log as well as drop the threat activities whenever it comes to the scanning. Moving on over here you have an option network host and exemption exceptions. So guys over here either you can exempt something like let's say for example under host uh, or under network exemptions we can select or create host and networks that we want to ignore from ATP scanning. These exceptions can be anything that causes false positive result. So either you can simply choose something like let's say for example if you want to exempt client PC1 uh, this is our network design okay from here if you want to exempt this client PC1 from scanning whereas you want other to go on for the scanning you can choose this and apply the selected one thereafter comes a thread exception if you want to uh, exempt any kind of file like java file or any other kind of executable file that you want to exempt that is a trustworthy that you can just exempt from here coming to the advanced security setting over here it is saying that whether you want to inspect an untrusted content or you want to inspect all the content if you go for untrusted content it will provide you optimal performance and it will inspect only the untrusted content but at the same time if you want to maximize the security you will be going for with this option inspect all content but it will inspect the trusted as well as untrusted content if you have defined something as a trustworthy then also it will scan it will perform ATP scanning so it's up to you whether you want like you are very much sure that the trusted contents are secure then you can just go ahead with this option and thereafter you will simply click on apply button and this will apply the ATP policies that's all you have to do over here for configuring the ATP so thank you guys for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks and see you in the next tutorial